Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from SoundIron, and in today's walkthrough we're going to be checking out the brand new Clack version 3.0 upgrade. For this new Clack upgrade, it takes this arsenal of impact percussion to new heights with a brand new modular user interface loaded with powerful sound shaping controls. This collection of auxiliary elements are specifically ideal for orchestral compositions, epic TV and film, as well as video game scoring, and much more. For this upgrade, we also included some brand new ambiences, evolving textural pads, drones, and more for you to use alongside with all the different percussion elements. This library is the perfect addition to your percussion toolkit with an assortment of musical weapons that epitomize the word thwack. So without further ado, let's dive in and start checking out some of the sounds that come with clack. Alright, so diving right in, I got the ensemble loaded up with all the various instruments loaded, so let's just go ahead and play through some of these on the keyboard. So you can see you have a wide range of various different percussion to choose from, from huge bamboo poles to small bamboo poles, castanets, claves, wooden blocks, clappers, pop guns, a bunch of different stuff. And this is great stuff to use, especially if you're doing any kind of action or percussion type stuff, and you wanna just keep some really like high click and clack type stuff going on just to really kind of keep the momentum going. So this is a really cool library for that. So now let's just go ahead and check out the big bamboo poles. And then when you go into the individual instruments in the categories, you can see that there's another drop down where you can sort of pick and choose uh, individual hits and just kind of play off of those. So when you have the individual categories selected for each instrument, you can then go into the bottom drop down where you can select the individual hits for each one that'll then spread them across the keyboard, or you can do tuned or untuned which allows you to sort of keep just one hit spread across the keyboard. So if you don't want it to be pitched, you have that option. So you can see right now I'm playing multiple keys and it's just playing the same sound. So then if you go into here and you go tuned, so you can get a little bit more musical. Go ahead and check out the castanets. Clappers, handles, and pop guns. Claves. Got some rattles. Got some small bamboo poles. We got some whale drones played with the hands. We got some wood blocks. And then with the new modular user interface, you can combine, layer, and get some really interesting rhythmic stuff going on, especially with libraries like these. So let's go into layer one. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the uh, whale drum hands. Let's go ahead and select it to where. 
So I have, I'm choosing to do untuned because I want it to where when I use the arpeggiator, it's not going to pitch any of the notes. I want it to just sound like someone's playing on one drum. Then we'll go into the advanced tab, turn on the arpeggiator. Now let's go into layer two and find a sound that'll complement it. So let's go ahead and turn the arpeggiator on and just see what happens. Now let's go in and start adding some ambiences and just uh, see what kind of cool uh, vibes we can get going on. All right, so this one's cool now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and learn my mod wheel to the X fade, and I wanna blend in this ambience with the rhythms going on. And then uh, we can also take layer two and have that be layer B as well. So we're gonna start off with the mod wheel all the way at the bottom. It's gonna be on layer one. So now we got that layer two clave on there. Then we're bringing in that ambience. So this is another reason why I like to have it to where it's untuned because normally these percussive, percussive notes would actually start to you know, sound a little bit more like a note. So I want it to where it's just always a consistent rhythm, but when I'm using an ambience, it'll go ahead and change that so it's a little bit more melodic with the percussion underneath. And then we can go into the effects rack and uh, let's, let's make this a little bit more reverberant. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, turn the mix up a little bit. So that sounds cool. So that's just a quick example of some things you can do using the new user interface as well as some of the different advanced features. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the custom effects presets that come with the library and these all use basically sort of what I was showing you but a little bit more further just to pretty much give you some different presets to use just for quick inspiration or get an idea of some different things that you can do with the library.
Alright, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for the new Clack version 3.0 upgrade. If you want to learn more about this library or check out some demos to hear it in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.